an office housed within the State Department is faulted in a new congressional report with flouting its mandate to thwart foreign disinformation through its funding of groups engaged in censorship against small businesses in the United States. The 66-page report was prepared by investigators on the Republican-led House Small Business Committee. For over a year, the panel has sought sprawling funding records from the State Department's Global Engagement Center on its programs fighting alleged disinformation and misinformation. The release of the report comes as the Global Engagement Center, which has an estimated budget of $61 million and a staff of 125, faces the potential to lose funding over GOP-led frustrations about its involvement with apparent domestic censorship groups. A provision through the annual State Department Appropriations Bill, which passed the House this summer and will be negotiated in the Senate, aims to ban future checks to the GEC. These initiatives, the report said, demonstrated the ways in which the GEC skirted its international mandate. One such initiative was a secret group chat targeting conservatives over alleged fake news. The GEC, according to documents cited in the report, recently awarded taxpayer dollars to the Institute for War and Peace Reporting, a London-based entity that delivered a subword to the Pointer Institute for Media Studies. But the subaward was used to convince international news outlets to join Pointer's international fact-checking networks, Code of Principles, which is a group of news and information organizations that abide by a certain set of qualities, denoting journalistic standards, the report found. To implement this award, the GEC was apparently added to a private email list in which apparent censorship activists critiqued applicants, including domestic businesses such as the Daily Caller and its fact-checking organization. Internal documents show that in the email list titled hashtag fake news sci, participants were also affiliated with the National Endowment for Democracy, Snopes, Pointer, Clemson University, and other entities. In the congressional report, the House Small Business Committee said it's not appropriate for the GEC or the NED to belong to a cohort that Kate keeps domestic press companies from belonging to a private credibility organization. The panel's report, which cites various stories by the Washington Examiner last year, along with separate funding records to disinformation groups, includes an audit of the GEC. The audit section notes that the GEC has several issues in its record keeping and that there are not sufficient audit procedures in place to efficiently track its use of taxpayer dollars.